it's Deborah. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know I've been a little MIA here on YouTube, and I wanted to come on here and just explain to you why I have. So, um, first of all, if you're new here, I would really love for you to subscribe to my channel. Click that red subscribe button. Follow me on my journey that I'm about to tell you about, and click that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a video. I will be coming out with a schedule, a set schedule soon. Um, but until then, click on that notification bell. That way you're notified when I upload a video. I wanna start off by saying thank you so much to everybody that has been following me on my YouTube adventures here. Um, I started my channel about a year and a half ago. Um, I started filming in a spare room at my mother-in-law's house. We were staying with her until this beautiful house of ours was being built, until it was done. And I shared with you so many different kinds of hauls, from Pier 1, Z Gallery, a Home Goods, Dollar Tree, Target. I shared so much with you guys. Um, I've been a little MIA on the home decor just because I, I have a lot going on, guys. Um, I recently was promoted in my job and I needed to get settled. I needed to just get everything. I mean, that's my priority, obviously, besides my family. Um, so now I'm at a point where I think I'm pretty settled and I can devote so much time to YouTube, so much time to my Instagram accounts. Um, so yes, anyway, thank you so much for following me. It's I've had such a good time and I plan on getting back to my home decor as well. Um, I love home decor if you don't know that about me. I do absolutely love it. I do have an Instagram account. It is Deborah underscore Gabriella over on Instagram. It's all lifestyle and home decor. And then of course I do have my keto accounts. Um, so what has been happening besides my work and my family and my social life? Um, I went keto. Uh, to me right now, guys, my health is, is a priority. Um, let me share a little story with you. I started keto September 20th, 2018, and I have now been on keto for nine months, and I have lost 85 pounds. <sighs> I've lost 85 pounds. I still have about another 60 to 80 pounds to go. Um, probably more towards the 80. I'm trying not to fool myself. I still have a very long journey. Um, I'm not in any rush. I'm not, you know, racing with anybody, racing with time. I am competing against the old me. So anyway, I started keto September 20th, which I always, when I tell my little story to people, I always say it was the worst time for me to start keto. Guys, I started keto September 20th, my wedding anniversary September 24th, my birthday October 14th, um, then of course Halloween, we had all the Halloween candy, um, then it was Thanksgiving, and then we went right into all the holiday parties, and then Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, New Year's, and so on. I can tell you that I have stayed keto 100%. Um, some may call this a cheat or not. I don't consider it a cheat, but it did definitely kick me out of ketosis. Mother's Day weekend, I had some fruit. I had some watermelon and I had some pineapple. Now being on keto, you know you can eat fruit, you can eat berries. Those are lowest in carbs. I chose to have some strawberries. Um, I also had watermelon and pineapple. And I can tell you that the next day I woke up with a hangover, like I was drinking all weekend. So I definitely, my body is not used to sugar and I definitely have a bad reaction to it. Um, I don't consider that a cheat, but I guess technically it was, but I'm not. If I'm going to cheat, I'm going to go full blown. I'm going to have, you know, some greasy French fries. Um, I'm going to eat a big juicy burger with a bun with a good, like a butter burger bun or like a brioche bun. Like I'm going to really cheat if I'm going to cheat. So anyway, um, I stayed keto 100% that when I first started out, I never went off plan. 
I try to eat as clean as I can, but obviously I don't. Um, I do some dirty keto. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I love my tacos. And recently I've been having some tacos using Susalia tortillas, which they're so delicious. They are very, very low carb. They are made with um, nopales, which is cactus, but there is still some corn in there. So they are very dirty. Um, but I do use them as a treat, and when I do eat them, I do have two or three because I'm on OMAD, which is one meal a day, and um, I can tell you that those suckers bloat me so much that I instantly, I'll gain like, I'm playing with like one to two pounds the day after because the bloat is real, guys. Um, let's see. So the first, like after my first three months, my body naturally started to do intermittent fasting. So I started doing 16-8. So I fasted for 16 hours and then I ate my meals within the eight hours. But it was weird because right off the bat, right when my body started naturally intermittent fasting, um, I went down to two meals a day, right? Because I really wasn't getting hungry till about 1, 12, 30, 1, 1, 30. Um, so I did that for like a month or two. Yeah, for like a month or no, for like a month. And then my body naturally went into 18.6. So I passed it for 18 hours and then ate my meals within six hours. I never eat past 6.30 at night, never. Um, and then the past two months, I've gone into a 23, 24 hour fast and I do OMAD, so I eat one meal a day. So every day I typically fast for 23, 24 hours, and then I'll eat my one meal. Now, um, people do OMAD differently. I do definitely track my macros, just because obviously throughout my little journey here, I had to readjust my macros, um, and I'm sure most people do. But I wanna make sure I don't go over on my fat because I have enough fat to lose and my calories. I wanna be in a caloric deficit. This is what works for me. I'm sharing my journey with you. I'm not telling you this is how it's got to be done. I'm telling you, you need to do your own research and you need to do trial and error to see what works for you and your body and your lifestyle. Um, that's to me what is so great about keto. It's not a one size fits all. It's very customizable to you, your lifestyle, your journey, right? Um, so right now I am currently doing OMAD. Um, I want to do a video of, I want to do, I don't know if I'll do what I eat in a day because I only eat once. I might do a video of like what I ate this week. Um, that way you can have five different meals. I'll still be sharing my recipes with you. I'll share them more often. Um, if you want to see just a one meal a day and kind of like what I drink while I fast, the rest of the day I could do that um, I'll be sharing I just did another three-day egg fast where I lost almost eight pounds I'll be sharing that with you I have that recorded except for the third day I really didn't have a lot of time to record so you'll get bits of that but from my Instagram account so it'll be parallel instead of horizontal that's the only thing sorry um, but I will share that with you what I ate each day and then you'll find out my newest obsession. <laughs> um, go, please, if you have an Instagram account, go follow me over on my keto account because I share almost every day what I eat every day. Um, and you'll know what my latest obsession is. And then um, we'll, we'll put out videos on snacks and what kind of snacks I eat and do I eat snacks and what kind of sweet treats do I eat. Um, I obviously have shared some things with you. Um, but I'm loving keto. I have no issues with it. Before I started keto, let's talk about before a little bit um, because we can, I'll put out other videos with you know what I'm currently doing. But before I started keto, because people ask me all the time, what motivates you? What keeps you going? You know what? I woke up one day. I woke up that September 20th, 2018. I woke up sick and tired of feeling like crap. Feeling like crap every day I had something wrong. I had a stomach issue. I had a headache. Every day after every meal, I would have a headache, guys. I was I was borderline hypertension. Um, I wasn't diabetic, but I probably was pre-diabetic. 
Um, I was, I was pre diabetic not probably, I was pre-diabetic. Um, going up the, and down the stairs really took a big toll on my joints, on my knees, on my feet, they would crack. Um, I was so uncomfortable in my own skin. Um, and, and I'm not talking about confidence. I have confidence. I have to have confidence for the kind of job that I have. Um, I do all kinds of presentations and stuff. I have to be out there and I put myself out there. But I was so uncomfortable in my own skin. I, I mean, just being uncomfortable, just sitting up out of bed. I was uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable and I was sick and tired of it. No more. I had had enough, enough. I had had enough and no matter how much my mother told me I was gaining weight and to be careful and not to eat this or that or um, you know like my good friends would say hey you know you're packing on some weight it freaking crept up crept up on me and nobody can tell you anything you have to decide one day you have to decide and say hey I've got to do this for me I've got to do this for my health I have to do this for my kids I want to be here for my kids ultimately you have to want to do it for you even though you want to do it for somebody else you know what I mean I know you want to be healthy for your kids but you have to be healthy for you first so you can be there for your kids or your significant other or your family or you know for whatever your reason is what your why is everybody has a why my why honestly let me share you a quick little story I don't want to go over 15 minutes so my why is not only was I sick and tired of living like that, feeling like that, um, my energy level was really low. I just felt like crap. I didn't want to feel that anymore. But a lot of my family members are diabetic. And I know if I stayed on that path, it was coming for me. I know diabetes was knocking at my door. And I don't want it. I've had one aunt that died from uh, complications from being a diabetic. I had a grandmother that had her leg amputated above the knee, uh, or right just below the knee. Um, I had another grandmother who some of her toes were amputated because of being diabetic. Um, almost all my aunts and uncles on both sides of my family are diabetic. And I can tell you that it is the way that we eat. Um, I currently have an aunt right now. She is on a, uh, she's waiting for a liver and kidney transplant from complications from being diabetic. Guys, I don't want that. I don't want to put my family through that. I don't want to put my husband through that. I don't want to put myself through that. I want to take care of this right now. I want to nip it in the ass and take care of it and try to be as healthy as I can be. Um, you have to do it for you. That's my why. That's my why. I want to be healthy. I don't want to be on pills, be on shots. Um, I want to be healthy. If I want to get up and go, I want to get up and go, you know? So find your why and have that motivate you because find your why. And have that be your motivation and stick to it. And every time you want to give up, think about your why. Think about your why. I'm not here crying because I want sympathy or anything like that. I'm. It's tears of frustration of why I let myself get to this point. Nonetheless, I am here and I'm doing something about it. And I want you, if you're not currently and you're watching this video and you're struggling, whether you should or you shouldn't, I'm here to tell you, you should. You absolutely should. You are so freaking worth it. You're so worth it. I want you to stop watching YouTube. Stop doing your Instagram. Put your phone down and get up and do it. Do something. I don't care if you're following keto or paleo or Weight Watchers or, you know, whatever, Jenny Craig, whatever else is out there, that's your weight loss journey and that is you to choose. I will support you 100%. It's trying to live a healthier lifestyle than what we, what we already are living. 
So I'm at 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't want to keep you guys. I am definitely going to be putting out more content. I am definitely going to bring you on the rest of my keto journey. Um, comment down below. Let me know what uh, weight loss journey you're following or lifestyle. Um, if you have any questions for me, put them down below. I promise you I will answer them. Follow me on both of my Instagram accounts. Send me DMs. I respond to those. Maybe not right away, but I do respond to all my DMs. Um, don't forget to subscribe and just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for following me on my journey, my home decor, my home built. And then now on my keto journey, I do appreciate you guys. You guys know I always say that and I do honestly mean it from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you spending some time with me today.